Kirsten Newman falls at Tusculum 79-70 with Coach Mike Mincy, Michael Watchering for the Eagle Sports Network. Coach, uh, we could certainly attribute uh, some of this to Braylon Michael fouling out with 2.20 to go, but you had a six-point lead with eight minutes to play. Tusculum scored 13 of 17. Uh, what do you see out of your team in the final eight minutes of the game where they were unable to execute and build out that lead? Uh, you know, we've on our side, we've talked a lot about down the stretch to making plays, whether it be on the defensive end or on the offensive end. And that's what Tusculum did. We were up 58-52. They come out of a timeout. They get a layup uh, from Sherman. And then um, uh, there was a collection of threes that went down. You know, we hung in there. I think Harley got a layup. I can't remember who got them. Um, and we kept going back and forth. You know, and then we put Schultz at the free throw line. And, and so it was nip and tuck, nip and tuck until the very end there. And then, uh, you know, honestly, throughout the whole game, it was, it was a good play, well-played game, a high-scoring game. But uh, credit goes to them, they outplayed us. And when you get outplayed, you're not gonna win games. When you look at uh, a game like this, it kind of detracts from uh, solid performances from players like Ashley Crittenden and Ruthie and Boot, where they came off the bench and bought you a few minutes. It has to at least be a little bit of a confidence builder for this team to see players like that perform on a big stage in critical moments with Braylon uh, in foul trouble. Uh, how important was it to see players like that step up in a game like this? We're certainly looking for depth and we're looking for um you know players to step up on the bench you know we know they're all young but um i've been really pleased with ashland's play of late uh but we got emily we got tori of course ruth comes off the bench uh some and, and gives us big minutes and and they're learning through these environments you know we're uh, uh we're a work in progress to some degree it doesn't matter where we're, if we're first in the division or not you know we're not really playing up to our standards um and we're going to we need to grow up we can we only got like four four games left so there's not a lot of growing you can do until we get into next season, but uh, but they're getting there. They're getting there, um, and uh, the more we can get them in the game, the better, uh, because we can't always rely on the five starters that we put on the floor. Region rankings came out today, uh, 10 teams under consideration. You were one of them, Tusculum was not. Uh, two games against really good teams in Wingate and LR these next two days could do a lot to help bolster yeah. your resume. It could potentially do a lot to perhaps hurt your resume as well with a couple losses there. Uh, what do you want to see out of your team uh, as you go on the road to Wingate on Saturday to try to learn from this one and ensure that uh, you're able to execute down the stretch? Well, it's going to be another tough opponent on the road. You know, we haven't necessarily fared as well on the road after failing, faring really well on the road the last several years. Uh, you know, this group or this collection of Lady Eagles just haven't really done that as well. And, uh, you know, it'll be a tough test. They're certainly a, a good team. Uh, they can play inside and out. Um, but if we find ourselves in a winning situation like we did tonight to where we got a six-point lead, you know, you, you got to make plays. And uh, people got to step up and get that done. Uh, and it comes in all, you know, whether it's on defensive end, taking care of the basketball, um, making shots. You know, you got to do those kind of things to pull out victories. Um, and we didn't do that tonight, and it'll be a tough challenge. Uh, you know, these next four are going to be all tough challenges for us. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, a lot of games to play play. We got four. Most everybody else, I guess, got mostly three left. So, you know, the twists and turns of the season are interesting. Um, and we'll just move from here and, and, and get prepared to go to Wingate.